if you want to become a millionaire, you have to do three things. Just three. One, two, three. That's it. That's it. All right. Keep watching to find out what book I'm talking about today. Hey, it's Kyla Denayo, and today we are talking about becoming a millionaire, habits you need to do, and how to get there. <laughs> okay. So today we're talking all about the book Million Dollar Habits. The author of the book is Brian Tracy. The genre of the book is nonfiction. The theme of the book is motivation business. All right. So three habits that you have to pick up to become a millionaire. So point number three, be loyal. Okay, there are a number of things that Brian Tracy writes about in the book, but he repeatedly talks about loyalty. Be loyal to your family in terms of saving money, don't cheat on people, don't tell too many lies, but also be loyal to your kids. He talks about how he will always go to bat for his children. Loyal to your employer, and that includes working harder than everybody else. There are a number of chapters where Brian Tracy is talking about, if you work for this company, you need to wear what they have. If, they, if you work for this kind of a car company, you need to drive the car. You need to show loyalty in all aspects. But he gives a number of examples about how millionaires are loyal and that loyalty comes back to you in huge, huge dividends on the other end, all right? Including making you a millionaire. So being loyal is huge. And then also included in loyalty is being loyal to yourself. And that means spending time with yourself, just thinking, meditating, taking time to reflect on your day. So the second really big habit that I learned from Million Dollar Habits is you need to be intentional, okay? So piggybacking off of what I just said, which was about how you need to be loyal to yourself, spend time with yourself. Brian Tracy spends a lot of time talking about taking care of yourself, brushing your teeth, combing your hair, having your nails groomed, having on clean shoes. He goes through this whole thing about how to be a millionaire, you need to take care of yourself. You need to look like a million bucks. You need to give the impression of being a million bucks. He doesn't talk about getting into debt and all this stuff so that you're like keeping up with the Joneses, but you need to look a certain way. So in order to become a millionaire, one of the habits you need to have, according to Brian Tracy, is to be very intentional with your life and in taking care of yourself, okay? So before we get into the all time number one lesson that I learned from this book, I wanna say if you're enjoying yourself, consider subscribing to the channel. I talk about books every single week, nonfiction books like this, fiction books, mysteries, romances, all the good stuff, all right? So consider subscribing. Now let's jump into the number one biggest lesson that I learned. And that lesson is imitate others, okay? Brian Tracy says, if you know a millionaire, look at what they are doing, imitate that. If you don't know a millionaire, follow them and then figure out what they're doing, right? I'm a podcaster. I'm going to look at the top 10 podcasts in my niche and in my subject, and then I'm gonna look at the top 10 podcasts all over, and I'm gonna imitate what they're doing. Where does the music build? What are their outros like? How are the ads introduced, right? What do the episode notes look like? Imitate, imitate, imitate. That is one of the biggest lessons that I learned about how to become a millionaire. Okay, there are all kinds of stories about Warren Buffett, how he has his one hamburger a day, how he doesn't invest in risky stocks and crypto. If you wanna be a millionaire, I would definitely say you should do that, right? Now, there are some other millionaires who do the exact opposite. <laughs> but look at the top 10% and see what they're doing, okay? And of course, every life is different. But if you can look and see a few habits that these millionaires have, anything that you can emulate, it's gonna help you. What will it hurt me to look at the top 10 podcasts, listen to them, and see if I'm doing the same thing? So, loved it, absolutely loved it. And this is definitely a book that I would reread. Nonfiction books are a lot easier for me to reread because the lessons that I picked up, the stories that I got, the revelations that happen as I'm reading the book, I want to see if those will happen again. I want to see if I'll catch on to something else in the future. And so that's a very specific perspective, okay? But if you wanna know why we should all be millionaires, take a look at this book review here, which is all about what you need to do to become a millionaire and even more tips that you can follow to make sure you become a millionaire. I'll see you in the next one.